Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can take your first LEGO League missions, put them all into one master program activated by your brick buttons. If you wanna see that, stay with me. Okay guys, we can all share in the story of going to a competition and watching whoever is controlling the robot just clicking, 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 scrolling through the programs and taking a lot of time to do so. And you know, with first Lego League in that two and a half minutes, you know every second is important. So today I'm gonna to show you a way that we can shave off some of that time just to simplify your program into one program activated by your brick buttons. So what I'm gonna do is take you to my computer to show you the program, and then go to the City Shaper table to watch all the magic happen. So let's go to my computer. Okay, everybody, I'm on my LEGO Mindstorms EV3 software here. And what you're looking at is the master program that I've already made. Um, I had to actually go through this so I could you know, set up the program for the missions that I wanted to accomplish. So. What I will do is I won't leave you hanging. I'll actually pretend like I have a fourth mission. So that way, if you're starting from scratch, um, you can see how I did all of this. Um, but what I want you to keep in mind is if you see each mission. So this first one, you can see starts by pressing the top button on the keypad. This is going to be my design and build and sustainability mission where it's just going to go to a circle. The second mission here, it's going to start with the left button press. And this is going to be the traffic jam. It's pretty long for a traffic jam, huh? And then this third one down here, which is going to be activated by hitting the bottom or the down button, is going to be the crane. So you can just see all the blocks that were involved in getting those missions done. But you're like, hey, Mr. Hino, you know, I'm starting from scratch. Can you show me how you started all this? And the answer is yes. Here we go. So the first block is going to be on the orange tab, this weight block. So if you notice, it mirrors all of the other weight blocks that start this. And let's go ahead and uh, connect this with a data wire. Okay. And then here's where the magic happens. We're going to click right there, and we are going to go to brick buttons. It's at the very top, compare, and brick buttons. So now we're going to get this set up for a new program. So I already have the top left and bottom already taken. So I could do the center, which is already defaulted, but let's just go to the right. So this mission, whatever this mission would be, is going to start when I press the right button. And then now the rest of it is just whatever blocks you would use to get the mission done. So if you're going to the elevator, if you're going to, you know, go up the ramp, that's just right here is just wherever that program is going to be. You just need to realize that the right button will activate that program. And then, you know, if you wanted to do another program, you already know that you can now also go into the middle or the center right there. So now that's that's the beauty about this program is everything is now um, encapsulated into this one program so now there's no more scrolling there's no more you know click 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 oh shoot well, you know which one is it and the beauty about each of these being on a weight block is let's say I did this first one here and you know whatever mission it might be and we screwed up we can always because it's on a weight block we can always press that top button again to run that mission again it's not, you know, it's not going to get messed up because, you know, we're off to the next mission, um, you know, with a touch sensor or something like that. We can control what programs we do again. So this is basically it. This is the program. And now what I'm going to do is take you to the City Shaper board to see what this all looks like. Okay, everybody, I have my core FLL robot here have the design and build and sustainability all set up. If you guys remember from the program, 
it's just going to start on this weight block, waiting for one of the touch pads to get hit. And the top one gets us rolling with that first mission. Okay. Now we're going to get this set up for the traffic jam. Still on that weight block, and it's going to be now be left. Oh, really nice. I think that backup was too long, but oh well. And now the last one's going to be the crane here. And that one was going to be the down button. Perfect. Okay, so the thing that I really like about this program again is everything is touchpad activated. Um, if I mess up on a program, I can always hit that button again and it's not, you know, locked in a sequence where I have to now, you know, I can't get back to that same program and it's just convenient. Notice there's no scrolling, no wasted time, so I really like this program. Okay guys, so hopefully you found that super helpful. Hopefully I was clear enough and showing you, you know, the block to start, you know, activate all the programs. And hopefully you can give this a shot at your next competition and just be able to see how much simpler starting your programs by just that brick button it can be. And maybe, you know, realize, wow, you know how much little time we spent scrolling and trying to get all those programs in order and everything? Now, just the brick buttons can be your guide. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.